live, I think. Hello, friends! Welcome back to our second Friday. We have survived two weeks and we have made it so much fun doing all this science together. I am thrilled. I'm going to do some shout outs in a moment. Make sure that you like our YouTube page, subscribe, follow so you can get all the notifications. If you haven't done so yet, head on over to our Patreon page where you can support us with any amount of donation per week of projects and it'll get you all the downloads that you need. And before we get to shout outs, I do want to go through our list of supplies. So if you're not quite prepared, you can go and run and get those things. So today you'll need we have two printouts we're gonna do. Younger hands can do this fun little helicopter. It'll turn into this little guy that lights up. And it's a little bit easier for younger hands. And then older kids, I'm gonna go over how to do the Nakamura. It's page seven and eight of your LED paper airplanes book. And that one will make this little paper airplane that will also light up. I'll have two LEDs that light up. So you need those printouts. If you do the Nakamura, you need it printed both sides and the way to know if you printed it double-sided the right way because apparently our printer can flip it two ways is that this line that goes across should also be at the same spot at the top um so you'll need your printouts you will need coin cell batteries cr2032 battery you'll need some copper tape some leds and some regular tape and then for the helicopters we'll need some scissors to cut it up and yesterday, we were talking about how we can get some of these supplies. I did send out links, and it should be also in the link that sent out this live stream, where we can get it from eBay with four-day shipping. So if you order now, you'll get it before we do next week, which is going to be super cool, because I have this fun little anatomical heart picture that you're going to label and learn about the heart. And then you can slide your finger across, and it'll make the LED light up like a heart. So that's going to be really cool. You can get the supplies. I've got eBay links for you. If they run out of those eBay links, just email me and I'll find another one for you. And also want to mention, I've been getting some awesome questions through email and I love it. I love that you guys are doing these projects at home and having curious questions like, what kind of reaction is that? Is it a chemical reaction or a physical reaction? And then you email me. It makes my heart so happy. So thank you for everybody who is doing this and are super engaged and you're so curious that you want to reach out for questions. Please do not feel like you can't do that. You can totally reach out for questions and I will answer your emails as fast as possible. Um, okay, let's do some shout outs. Who's with us? All right, the Lindberghs are back. Hello, Lindberghs! I'm so excited that you guys are here. It's gonna be awesome today. And the Hertz are back from Virginia. Hello, Hertz from Virginia. They, they, all those families have had such great, they come all the time. You guys come all the time and you guys had such great greenhouses yesterday. I loved them. And then we got Connor. Hello, Connor! He's ready for some action. Yes! Ready to wire some stuff up. And Abel is doing it. Good morning, Abel! I'm excited you guys have the supplies to get it done. And I'm going to go check over and Patreon real quick. And Abel, your little brother, can probably do this one. The helicopter one, which is awesome. The helicopter one. That's the one that we're going to do today with our littler hands. All right. So let's get started. Now, last week when we did paper circuits, we had two camera angles and we zoomed in because I figured it would be really nice to see up what we're doing really close. But then we had like a three minute lag. And that was really hard to deal with as you guys asked questions in that little YouTube chat. We couldn't actually, it was like a huge lag time. So we're gonna skip that part and we're gonna try a new plan and you guys can let me know if this works better. I'm gonna use good old faithful Curious George and we're gonna hold it up and Evan, who is our master IT guy, is gonna zoom in for us as we do it. And hopefully that will let us still be a little bit more live without the delay. And All right. The goods from Pennsylvania showed up and said hi. Oh, hello, goods. I love that you guys are like the good kids. That makes me really happy. <laughs> and then Clara and Anna. Hello, Clara and Anna. Oh, I'm so excited you guys are here today too. Perfect. All right. Let's get started. The first one I'm going to go over how to do is this one, which is the helicopter. It's going to make a really easy one, and it's going to use circuit things that we've learned before. All of these use the same circuit parts. It uses the battery to power our circuit. So remember when we did the copper pennies, we got copper charges that were in our liquid that we could use. This one we have lithium charges and that those charges are gonna wanna like meet up with their BFFs 
on the other side. So they try to like get from top to bottom, but they can't quite do that without a path. So we're gonna use the copper tape to make the path. And if we just go top to bottom, that's kind of boring. It's a really fast path. The electrons will move on it, but they'll do nothing. When I make circuits, I like to make my circuit do something. So I might want it to like vibrate and buzz around, or I might want it to light up, or I might want it to make a noise, I might want it to get hot. And I can do all those things by adding components into my circuit. And today we'll make light by adding an LED in. And if this is your first time, we do want to remember that our LEDs, I'll put it right up here, they have a long and a short leg. So when you look at your LEDs, there should be one leg that pokes you first. And that's because LEDs are these one-way streets. So they're like slides. And the electrons are going to climb up the slide and slide down it. And they say, wee, and they light up when they slide down. But if they look at the bottom of the slide, nobody has to ask them twice. They just won't go up the slide. So like nobody's like, electron bump over there. Get off the slide. Don't go up the slide. No climbing up the slide. They're like, oh, we know what to do. And they only go down the slide and light up and say we. So if in your project you're finding your LED does not light up, it's probably because either your LED doesn't work, your battery doesn't work, or your LED is flipped. So right here, my LED, I have the short leg on the side of the battery that has the letters where I actually need the long leg. So if I put the long leg over here, that will work for me. And the other thing, if you're trying to light up your LED on just a battery, you can't have both legs on the front of the battery and you can't have both legs on the back of the battery because that doesn't create a little pathway for the electrons to go from the top to the bottom. So I need one leg on the top and one leg on the bottom. So I kind of do this and I smush it in. So if this is your first time playing with the LEDs, you should see if you can make out your LED light up just with the battery, nothing else. And then you can, once you've got that, you'll be good to go. And this is a great test because it tells me my battery is working and my LED is working. So when I make my project, if something's not working, I know it's something about the wiring or the direction of my LED, like maybe it's upside down, but I know that it's not that my battery is dead or my LED doesn't work anymore. All right, so first step on this lovely helicopter is to cut it out. And we are gonna cut out on these green lines right here. So it'll cut out as sort of like a big, almost like a funny T. It's got like an extra little piece here. We're gonna cut out around these green lines. Just like this. Very interesting cutting from the back side of a paper. And the nice thing about the helicopters is our copper tape is gonna go on in two straight lines. And so far that's the only thing we've done with our copper tape. We've only put it on in straight lines so far. And there's a reason for that and that's because bending the copper tape can be tricky, but we will learn how to do that with the other paper airplane we do today. So we will get to that today. But this is one of those projects where, ooh, this is this is the one if you have little hands or you want to be successful right off the bat, this is the one to do. Can you tell them about, you can pause the video if they're doing this. Oh, and Evan would like to remind you, if we are going too fast and you want to go along with us, you can pause the live video and you can still chat questions to us, which if you need to like take a pause and finish cutting, perfect time. And then you can just hit go and it should go back to like wherever you were after you had paused. So you'll just be a little bit delayed from us. I'm not sure. All right. So we have this little guy that's cut out, which is lovely. There is also two green lines we're gonna cut out over here, but I'm gonna wait to do, well, let's do it now, we'll do it now, we'll cut. So this green line, it only goes to here, to that pink dotted line. So we're just gonna make the cut from here down to there. So it doesn't go all the way. And it's gonna be on the same thing on the other side. It's gonna go from here down to that pink dotted line. Right there. All right, Georgia, you have a question. The ultimate live what, question. What's that? Red dots fall on that side. 
These red dots? These and these. Oh, great question, Georgia. These are gonna be, the dotted lines on a lot of my paper circuit templates are where we're gonna fold. But we're not quite ready to fold it up yet. I thought it was but we're gonna cutting. Fold Georgia thought it was for cutting. My straight solid lines are usually cutting lines and then my dotted lines are folding lines. All right, so we are going to, I'm gonna tape this up so that it's easier and I don't have to hold everything at once. So I'll tape this on to Curious George. And then we'll put George up so that we can have a closer view. All right, so I'm gonna add my copper tape now and I need to add it here on this bright yellow and here on this dark orange. So I can measure my copper tape and I can rip it with my fingers, which is really handy. And then you've gotta get started. I like to use my nail. You gotta get your nail between that white paper and the copper but tape. sometimes it, it gets the thinner layer, and mm -hmm. then you're like, rip, and then it's just Yeah. Fuzz. Sometimes it's really hard, and if you have a really hard piece, you can just get a new piece of copper tape. Some, one time and I George failed, says oh, oh, hi, George. One time, one time I failed on there, and then the other side was already started for me. Oh, that's handy. So when you do the copper tape, you want to stick it down, and you're going to peel this white backing off as you go. You don't want to peel it all off at once because it'll ringlet. So we're going to peel and stick. Oh, Griffin. oh, Griffin says hello. Hello, Griffin. <laughs> and I'm just going to rip it. I don't want my copper tape to leave this gray circle. So it needs to stay in that circle. If it's all wobbly, you can take your thumbnail and just press it down. That works great. And then you're going to measure out the other side. Ooh. That piece of tape works perfectly. And you're gonna get this other side started. And you'll notice it's just two long pieces of tape, which is really quite handy. So again, I'm gonna stick it down to where I wanna go. And once I press it down, I can start pulling on this white piece and I'll press it down as I pull that white backing off. If you have problems with the white backing sort of fraying, you wanna make a nice U-turn with that white. You could even fold it like that. And it'll come off a little nicer as if it's like sort of always bent in a U. So I'm just gonna press and stick. And again, I wanna make sure that this doesn't leave that circle. So I'm actually gonna make it, I'm gonna smush it in so it doesn't leave that circle. And I can use my thumbnail and I can press it down just like that. And I have that part ready. We are almost there, which is amazing. Jackson's we need to put so our battery in. Jackson? Jackson. Hi, Jackson. Oh, I'm so glad you're joining us. We're going to put our battery in, and the battery is going to go face up inside the circle that doesn't have, there's one circle that has the orange. There's one circle that has nothing. So you're going to put your battery over here at the circle with nothing so you can see the letter, so I can see the plus sign. And the way we're going to hold it in is a piece of masking tape or scotch tape, just not the copper tape. So the copper tape is conductive. It helps those electrons move. And we don't want our electrons to move from the top to the bottom freely. We want them to have to go through that LED. So to do that, we're gonna tape it in with a non-conductive tape, which is sort of like a barrier for them. And you wanna make sure you leave this top part as open as possible so that we can finish our project. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tape on the edges of this guy, just like this. And it will, I can even put another piece on the other side if I'd like. And that will hold the battery in, but you'll notice I still have all of this silver from the battery that I can see. It's just a really thin piece of copper tape there, just like that. All right, so next we are going to put a fold into our helicopter. I'm gonna take this tape off. And we're gonna fold it backwards so that when we, it's folded, it's like white is gonna to touch white. So we're gonna fold it backwards like this and we'll fold it in half. There's a little blue line right here that has that fold in it. So we've got it folded in half. And it looks like this. So I've got the pictures on the outside of both. So everything's outside instead of folding it where it's white on the outside, I want all of my pictures on the outside of it. All right, now we need to add our little LED. 
But I'm gonna make it so that when we add our LED, we'll know right away if it's gonna work or not. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make another fold. See this dark purple line right here? I'm gonna take the circle that has the orange outline and I'm gonna fold it up so that it touches my battery, just like that. And I'm gonna tape that in place for the moment so I don't really have to think about it. And now I can take my LED. So we've cut this part so these guys can go sort of forward or back. You wanna bend one back and one forward. And by doing that, we give our LED access to sort of do the splits over this and hit both sides. Now on your template, it says long lay LED leg on one side and it says short LED leg on the other. So if you wanna be successful right off the bat, you wanna line up your short LED leg on the short LED side and the long LED leg on the long LED side and whew, it's gonna work for us, which is awesome. So I'm taking my pressure off of here and I'm going to actually take a moment to tape down these LED legs. I'm gonna use masking tape to do that. Ooh, we have a question. We have a question. Can we use duct tape instead of masking tape? Yes, duct tape should work. I just don't, it's, I think the silver, it's not metallic silver. No, I just yeah. the paper easier if they have to adjust them. Yes, it might be harder if you have to adjust it, but it'll totally work, it'll stick really well. Um, I'm gonna take a little piece of masking or scotch tape or duct tape, and I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna make sure this leg is touching and on top of that copper piece of tape. That's really important. I don't wanna tape my leg over here where the leg is on the paper and the copper tape is over that direction. They need to be on top of each other like a little sandwich. And you can bend them if you need to bend them. And you can move things around. So I'm gonna tape it so that that leg is on that piece of copper tape. And I'm gonna press down really, really hard. Ooh, we have a live question from Isabella. Um, but you used to say that we could tape it down with copper tape so that it would have a better co um, connection. Yes, so Isabella raises a great point. When I used to teach these, we used to use copper tape down here and I just, I've learned that the copper tape is not as sticky as what the scotch tape is. But what I do do, and this is a great way, we'll, we'll talk a little bit about problem solving, um, is if you find that it's not working, you always have to press or press really hard on these legs to make it work. One thing you can do to make it work better is you could take a piece of copper tape and we can flip it over. So we'll lift up this, um, a little piece of masking tape right here. And so I still have my LED leg that's gonna be touching the bottom copper tape, but I could make a sandwich, I could flip it over and have it basically be copper tape, LED leg, copper tape, and then the masking tape can hold this all in. And that is what I always suggest kids do if you're finding the LED is not making good contact. It's sort of like a little jumper that you can make. You can also do that as a patch. And yes, you can also do it as a patch if your stuff rips anywhere. So now I'm gonna go on the other side and I need to do it. And I'm noticing that, ooh, my LED leg is going off to the side and not on to this copper tape that I want. Cause that's really important. That's the highway my little electrons are gonna use to go from one place to another. So I can't have a highway that just ends and expect those electrons to get to where they're going with no road. All right, so I've got it now lined up and I'm gonna put another piece of masking tape over this and I'm gonna press it really hard. And now it's not working, which is fine because I don't actually have this part touching the top of my battery. It's sort of hanging loose. But when I do touch the battery, it is on. So there's a couple things that might break this circuit for you. One of them is if this piece, this fold, comes up and touches the other piece of copper tape. So if I bend this down enough and it touches it, you'll see my LED goes out. And that is me short circuiting my LED. I'm actually making it so it can go from the top to the bottom without going through the LED. So if you find that's a problem and you still wanna be able to press there, what you can do is you can take a little piece of masking tape and just cover up that piece of copper tape on the bottom. And now I can press down as much as I want and the electrons can't get through that masking tape. So they can't go down, they still have to go through that. Um, and so if I want to be able to throw this and have it still on, I'm gonna need something like a paper clip. I could tape it really well. I could tape it down this way really well. I could use like a little rubber band to hold the pressure there. There's a whole bunch of different ways, but often 
the easiest way is usually to just tape it down really good. I like to usually tape down from this part. This is a big piece of tape. Let's get it smaller. So if I sort of tape it down just right, it's going to stay on. And if you need it to be on more, see, it's kind of a little tricky on right now. If you need it to be on more, you can add more tape or you could try to do a rubber band and you have your working little project. Now, if you go upstairs, if you have a spot where you can, you have like a hallway banister and you can drop it, these will spin as you drop or you could stand up on a chair and you can spin it. It takes them a little bit of time of dropping before they start their spin, but it's a really fun little helicopter. So that is our first paper circuit project. If you are doing this one and you need it to go slower, you could actually pause and probably go backwards in our live YouTube to do that. And if you've been waiting, we are also going to make this one, the Nakamura, which has two lights of little LEDs. And I spent a whole bunch of time changing where the battery goes to make sure that it still flies. So these will still fly. And we'll have to do the same thing if you want it to be on as it's flying. You can put something like a clip right there. I use binder clips for that, which is great. Um, but it's nice that when you don't have it on there, it's off because that will save your battery for you. All right, so before we fold it, we're actually going to wire it up. And this one, we are gonna have some bins in our wire, so it's gonna be a little bit trickier. So I'm gonna tape it up right up here. George, if you want to, you could start your own, your own helicopter. Yeah. All right, so I've got two colors of, of copper tape. I've got the bright yellow here, which I'm gonna do first. And then I have this one that's dark orange, and in fact, you're gonna need a much longer piece than this because we're gonna flip over the paper right here and it's gonna go on the other side all the way down. So we need a, some decently long pieces of copper tape here. So I'm gonna start on the bright yellow and I'll give myself a little bit of extra space. So again, as I peel this, I'm gonna stick it down as I peel it because if I peel the copper tape all at once, it's gonna ringlet and it won't be useful. And the biggest difference between this and the character cards we did last week and this and the helicopter that we just did is this one we're gonna have to bend our LED tape and we cannot rip it. So I'll show you what we cannot do. We cannot go straight up like this and then say, okay, now I'm gonna go to the side and rip it and start a new piece and then make it look like it's together. We can't trick the electrons. So the electrons will know there's a gap even if we can't physically see the gap. In the electrons, this is like kind of like having a highway where the cars are going here and then all of a sudden the highway moves to up here and there's no car elevator to get the cars from the bottom to the top. So you basically have ruined their little roadway and they can't do it so they can't light up your LEDs. So if it breaks, then, and you've just started, what I usually suggest is just ripping it off. If it breaks and you are almost done, I'm gonna show you a trick in just a moment on what you can do, all right? So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna first start going up, and now I say, oh no, I've gotta go this direction, and I can't rip it, I need to like fold it, but if I just like, if I just force it to go that way, it might rip. So what I've learned you can do is if you give yourself a little bit extra, so I have like maybe, even like an inch right here. I have an inch that's unpeeled. And what I'll do is I'll gonna put it down so that I have this nice big wave right there. And then I'll just flatten that wave. And I'll keep going on my merry little way. And this one is gonna be super tricky because I need to go this way now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna start, I'm gonna give myself a whole bunch of little extra space. And I'm going to change the way I'm holding it. So I'm gonna rotate it down. And I could do this maybe even in a few pieces. Sometimes I like to make a nice good bend there. And we could do that, which is still not the way I wanna go, but that's okay. I will just keep doing that. So I have extra space here and I'm gonna let it have that extra space. I'm gonna make that bubble. I'm making a very big bubble, but that's all right. Just don't and go. I've got like this. So I've still, I have all these like crazy crunchy bubble pieces but I haven't ripped my tape. And that's really what I care about. Now I'm going this direction, which is great. I'm gonna pull it and press down 
as I go. All right. Now let's say at this point, I like just worked through all this really hard stuff and oh no, oh my gosh, it ripped and it was so hard to get these pieces. This is what I'm gonna tell you to do. Make a gap like this so you can see the gap. And this is important for when I'm gonna help you solve your circuit problems that we know exactly where these gaps are. So you're gonna make a little gap that we can see and you're gonna continue on your merry way. We're gonna go all the way over to here to the other edge and we'll rip it there. All right, now you might be saying, but Dr. Erica, before when we placed them on top of each other, we had these highways and the car's gonna get from one highway to the other and not ruined our circuit. How in the world can a car jump this massive divide and still complete the circuit? And you'd be right to question me because it can't. So we have to fix this. We need to make what I call a jumper. And it's the same kind of thing we talked about earlier. I'm gonna take a little piece of copper tape. I'm gonna keep the white on the back. And I'm gonna just press it against here over that gap. And I'm gonna use a piece of masking tape to tape over it. And I need to make sure it makes really good contact with each side of my jump. And so the electrons will be going like this and then they'll like flip up to the top and then flip down. Maybe they'll have a lot of fun doing it. So I'm just gonna tape over this part that I had a gap in. So that's really important to leave that gap because if we don't leave the gap, we might trick ourselves into thinking, well, the copper is touching so it should work and the electrons cannot be fooled. It cannot be tricked. All right, so that is getting that first one in. The trickiest part is getting these bins. But as long as you just keep trying, you can, you probably will get there. Sometimes it takes a little, a little time to get these paper circuits, they're tricky. So now we're into the other one and I know it goes, after it goes here, it's gonna come all the way back. So I'm gonna measure extra and make sure that I have enough to do that. All right, so I'm gonna start my copper tape and I'm gonna put it going on the number four part. Just like this. So I'm gonna peel it and I'm gonna stick it down. It's going straight up and down. And then I've got to bend it to go this way. So I'm gonna give myself a little bit of extra tape and I'm gonna make that little loop and I'll just press it down anywhere else. And then those guys, I can just plop down those little wiggles. They don't matter. The electrons will just have a fun little wiggle ride right there. All right, and I'm gonna keep going here. And now I need to turn it again because I need to go this way. And I cannot let these two pieces touch. So these was the bright yellow and the dark orange. They can't touch. So this copper tape that I'm working on can't touch the copper tape that's up here. So I'm gonna continue. I'm gonna give myself a little extra space so I can pull up this piece down. And when I press it down, I'm gonna press it so that I know that they don't touch. See, got some space. Now I'm at the side of my paper and I am not gonna rip my copper tape. Instead, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my paper and very carefully, I'm gonna take the piece off that's sticking it to Curious George. We're gonna flip it over just like this. And I'm gonna bring my copper tape around the corner and over the back. And then I will come back over here like this. And I actually found a trick. If you have enough extra copper tape, when I was making this yesterday, I might change my things. You could even wrap it around this corner. Hmm, it might be a little tricky. No, we're just gonna break it. We're gonna break it right there. All right, we're gonna break it so it doesn't go around that because I think that might be too tricky. So now I've got this beautiful thing. I've got copper tape going straight across the back and I've got these pieces right here. All right, so I need two LEDs for this one because there's gonna be an LED that goes on both sides and I need one battery. So my battery is again, it's gonna go, the bottom is gonna go down on the circle that does not have the outline. So you should be able to see the plus sign and we will tape that in on the sides just like we did before. Because again, we don't wanna cover the top of our battery because then our little electrons can't get anywhere. So I'm gonna put a little piece of tape Sometimes I even like to fold it around that battery piece and then it like holds it really nicely, just like that. Oops. Okay, now my battery's in. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put our LEDs in. And it tells me 
which leg is the long leg and which weight leg is the short leg. So the short leg is gonna be on this side of the paper and the long leg is gonna be on the back. So I'm gonna take my LED, I'm gonna make sure I've got my short leg. That's my short leg. So I'm gonna make it so the short leg is on this side of the paper and the long leg is on the other side of the paper. And I'm gonna take a little piece of masking tape and I'm gonna tape that short LED leg on top of the copper tape. Can I do it all with one hand? Nope, couldn't do it. That's okay. We will just do it again. So I'm gonna put the short leg on this side of the paper and I am going to use a piece of tape to tape it down. Nice and good, just like that. And then for the same LED, I'm gonna flip my paper over and I'm going to make sure that I get the back side. And right now, ooh, this is terrible. Look at my long leg is all in paper. None of it is touching the copper tape. And so I'm going to fix that. I'm going to bend that long leg over so it can touch that copper tape. And I'm going to tape it in with masking tape or something similar. And then I'm going to pick it up and I'm just going to pinch everything down. Nice and good. I'm just going to pinch it so that we can really get good contact. So I've got one. If you want to see if it works, what you can do is you can fold your paper airplane in half with the blue pieces kind of going into each other, just like a hot dog. And there's a center line that's printed on this for you. But you'll notice that when I press the two together, that LED lights up. So great, I have one LED that's working. So we're gonna do the other LED now. I'm gonna do it the same way. So I'm gonna find my short leg. I'm gonna put the short leg on this side of the paper, the long leg on the other side of the paper, and I'm gonna tape that short leg in with a little piece of masking tape, just like this. And when you tape the short leg in on this side, you gotta make sure you're on the top one, not on this one. You wanna be on the top one, because this is the one that goes around for the long legs. So this guy is a short leg on the top piece, just like that. And then like before, we're gonna flip it over and whoo, look at that, my leg is over here and I need to get it down here, but that's okay. I'll just pick it up and plop it on over. It's the lovely thing about these little skinny wire legs is you can bend them however you need to. All right, so then I'm going to tape this part down, just like that. And now we can press it really good and we can test it as we fold it in half again and you're just gonna press on the battery. And I get it to go, but not great. And it, I notice that when I press on the legs usually is really what it is. So I'm gonna do my jumpers on that, which is perfect. So it's not working as well as what I'd like. I'm gonna rip up this little piece of masking tape part way. And I'm gonna take a piece of copper tape. Hmm. Oh, here's a piece. Take a piece of copper tape, just like this, and I'm gonna flip it over. So I have copper tape touching the LED leg, touching this part of the copper tape, and then I'll tape over the white part. So just like this. I'm gonna put it down like that, and then I will tape it in place. So that it's all taped together. And I can see if that helps. And if it doesn't, I can do it to the other side. That's totally fine. Oh, yep, now it works, great. Beautiful, so now I have both that are working. If your both aren't working, don't worry. We can totally help you with that in our Zoom class when we get there. Um, I know we have some people already in Zoom watching us, um, and I'm happy to troubleshoot your paper circuits when we get into that Zoom class together. If it is working, then we just have to fold this guy. So I have the folding instructions and it starts by folding along this blue line down to make this like right triangle guy. I'm gonna fold this down just like this to that center line, that black center line that's printed on there. And then our second step is to fold over this green dotted line. So we're gonna fold this down. It's gonna look kind of like an envelope when we fold that piece down. So I have the two sort of doggy ear flaps that fold down to the center line on the back side, not the side that we were working on, but on the back side. I'm gonna fold towards that back. Then we're gonna fold over into an envelope, just like that. We're gonna press down right here. And now it tells me to fold along these dark purple lines. And what I'm gonna do is actually, there's a little dot right here that's in this red area. I'm gonna take this corner and fold it to that dot. It will end up folding right along that line. So I'm gonna fold that corner to the dot and I'm gonna press it down 
just like this. And you can see uh, the little words come up, which is really handy. Now I'm gonna take this corner. I'm gonna also fold it down right into that dot. So I'm gonna take that corner and it's gonna fold right along this purple line. We're gonna fold it, we're gonna line it up to the dot first before we press down. I use some thick paper. And then we're gonna press down just like that. So now we've got this part worked out and we're gonna take this tip right here and we're gonna fold it up just like this. Now I, so you don't really need to tape it, but I like to tape it so that it doesn't keep falling out. So I'll take a little tiny piece of tape right here and just fold it out like that, or not fold it, tape it up just like that. Now I'm gonna fold this all so that these guys go together. So all in half across that center line, just like this. We can double check that our circuit still works by pressing on that battery, which is great. So we're working and I just need to fold down my wings. And if I open it up, I see that there's these black wing dotted lines. So I can actually fold it down along these dotted lines, right like this. And I'm gonna do the other side too. Fold it down along these dotted lines best we can. They should really be even. So we're gonna fold it like that. All right, and now, uh-oh, I broke something. That's okay though, we'll find it out. Oh yeah, so I think we haven't put in our tape yet. We've got a little tape we gotta add in. And this guy is just a little, we're gonna have to work on that one a little bit. And that's okay, this is great, because it might not work for you. And guess what, sometimes it doesn't work for me. So that's totally fine. Sometimes it doesn't work the first time around. We're gonna add a little, a few pieces of tape that are really important on this guy for when we fly it. So the first piece of tape is right here where this comes all over this corner because if we put it together, we don't want these two pieces of tape to touch. So we're gonna make sure they can't touch by just putting a piece of tape over it like that. So now they can't touch, which is good. It's fine if these ones touch because they're actually the same wire. If I extend it, they're actually the same wire, which is handy. All right, and then I'm gonna tape, there's two more pieces of tape up here that I can tape it in. And this one just seems to only work when I'm pressing on it. So I think what I'm gonna do is actually add another jumper on this side for it to make it work. Because this, the wiring and the battery is definitely working. It's just where these guys are touching and I know that because I have one LED with the same wires that's working really consistently. So I know it's not LEDs, I know it's not batteries. I know it's some way that this LED is attached to my circuit. All right, so to finish it off, this is the world record holding, but maybe it's been beaten since then, Nakamura airplane. And so you kind of hold it together by taping these two pieces together right here. And one more. Georgia is looking great. And then one more, which is down here at the nose of the tip. And if you don't want to do it across the top, you could actually do it across this way too. We'll just put our piece there. And so now I have this working paper airplane. If I want it to fly with lights on, I can put some sort of clip here, or I can even press this. If I press this bend enough, sometimes it'll make it work for you. Your best option is probably just like a binder clip. And then you can toss them. One super fun thing to do with this will be to turn out all the lights in your room, like right before bedtime tonight, and get this guy, see, look, it's on. One of them is on right now. Get it to, like, have your parents pull out their video camera, and in the dark, fly your paper airplane, and then you'll see, like, streaks of light in your video camera, which will be really, really fun. So that is how we're going to do this one, and... Let's see, we're gonna head over into Zoom because I know there's gonna be a lot of questions about how we can get these guys working. So I will definitely be over in Zoom for lunch today. You'll just need to be ready to like hold it up and wait your turn as we try to figure out what everybody's is. But so far, we managed to get everybody's paper circuit stuff working, which is like amazing online. You kids are like shockingly jaw dropping, so impressed. Um, next week for science, we are gonna go into the human body. So start thinking about your questions you might have about the human body. We're gonna learn about our digestive tract. We're gonna make poop. It's gonna be amazing. We are going to make a beating heart with our LEDs. Our heart's gonna go bump, 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 
bump, bump, and it's gonna be awesome. What else are we gonna do? Oh, we're gonna make a model of the cell. The things you can find in your house. We're gonna make a model of the cell and learn about the human cell. We're gonna make a cool, like one of those cool hand things to learn about our hands and learn interesting things about that. So it's gonna be lots of fun next week. Yeah, and we have a little weekend coming up. I'm super excited. All right, do we have any questions on YouTube before we switch over to Zoom? Uh, no, not so far. We're both right now. Awesome. All right, then we will switch over into Zoom. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Don't forget to check us out on Patreon if you haven't already. Make sure you like and subscribe all of our channels so you know what's going on. And I will see you guys in Zoom. Have a great Friday. You're still in it for a little bit. And then while Can I have the paper clip, Bowie? Can I have the paper clip? The paper clip, yes. Go for it. Bowie. If I uh -huh. even... All right, Bowie, do you want to do this one? Yeah. All right. Let's get to you the copper tape you need. What about a chair? Ooh, what about a chair? You might have to do it standing for the moment. Okay. All right. Okay, Alex, hang on. I'm going to spotlight you. And I think you, did you mute yourself? No, I've muted everyone oh. right now. Wait, do you want to give me control? Control. Um, do I go? Over? Yeah, you're going to go all the way around on that one. Keep your cell phones. All right. So, oh, I'm muted. You're muted. You're li it's listening through mine. All right. Oh, but they can hear me. They can hear you. Oh, okay. You can hear me. I was trying to. All right. Everybody's been muted, but then we'll go through and we'll unmute you guys and we'll go for questions. So I'm going to unmute you, Alex, and I'm going to spotlight you. Tell me what you got. Oh, wait. Hang on. Hang on. Pause, pause, pause. Okay, can I now try something? Wait, wait, just just wait for me to figure it out for a second. Oh wait, hang on, can't hear you. Momentary issues. All right, so mute. And then we're gonna. You gotta take yourself off mute now. Yeah. Okay, I can do that. All right, I think we're good. It doesn't work. So I got mine on first try. Yes! Look at that, Alex. Good work. I'm. So so impressed! <gasps> so impressed! Oh, that's awesome. Because I've been doing it before, so True. I know how to do it, wire it correctly. You have taken a few classes with me, and you've gotten experience with paper circuits. 